Feliz Navidad. I want to wish you a Merry Christmas. Hey guys, it's Alex Angel and happy holidays. I just wanted to make this brief intro video wishing you guys a very, very Merry Christmas. Happy Hanukkah, uh, happy Kwanzaa, just happy holidays. I hope you all have a beautiful, beautiful holiday season. Um, for this uh, group of videos, I am going to lay out your five card spread. And then I think what I'll do is add like maybe an additional three cards. Um, for those of you who are interested, say for instance, in the 2020, the new decade and the new year, you know, especially as like an earth angel or a spirit, time doesn't mean anything to us because, you know, it's a human measurement. But I at least wanted to include maybe some forward information, maybe some prediction information that angels may have for you guys. So I hope you enjoy. All right, guys, have a very, very safe and happiest of happy holiday season. Take care. Hey Capricorn, this is Alex Angel and I am here to bring you your second half of December 2019 Angel and Oracle card reading. Okay Capricorn, I have meditated over your cards and laid them out and y'all cannot make a decision, huh? I feel like y'all, like your minds right now are spaghetti, right? It's almost like they, I could do this or I could do that. If I do this, this could happen or that, or this, or maybe I could do this. You know what? Never mind. But wait, I could do that. It just kind of feels like you guys are, you can't make a decision to save your life. Okay. But anyway, let's see what your cards have in store. Spiritual growth. By the way, y'all have three twos. Okay. So that again says to me, each two depends on a decision to be made. Um, and I'm not actually shocked by the twos that came down here. The only two that's not down here is the two of cups. Okay. But the two of wands coupled with spiritual growth is, um, this to me is angelic guidance. This to me is evolution. This to me is your free will, right? So you're trying to figure out what the next steps are. What do I do? Where do I go from here? What path do I take? Right. Um, I feel like you guys are in heavy deliberation too. I feel like you're treating this like the SATs or the LSATs or or things like that. Like to me, you guys are taking this very serious because this is very important to you. Um, and, and it's weird because I kind of feel like there's this demungus lag, as my daughter used to say, demungus. Um, there's this enormous lag. It's almost like you're afraid to not necessarily afraid to take a step or afraid to make the wrong choice or afraid to even make a choice in uh, at all. But it's almost like you guys are afraid to move. What I'm also hearing too from this card is that you're, you've been getting guidance. You know, I kind of feel like angels or whomever or advice or friends. I kind of feel like number one, friends have been giving you sound, rational advice, number one. Number two, which I always know is angelic interaction, a lot of your friends have been giving you the same advice, but for some reason, you're still deliberating. Not only are you deliberating, but you haven't acted, okay? You're just kind of still sitting in the same spot, debating and deliberating, okay? Emerging with the Two of Swords. This is, okay, well, what are the risks? Okay, but if I go here, you know what? Um, I don't know. Because I want to go here or I feel like I want to do this, right? Emerging is like the inner child. Or emerging is kind of like that beautiful gut feeling that says, you know, she's the Glenda the Good Witch on, on uh, Wizard of Oz saying, hey, beautiful, come this way. But for some reason, again, you guys are feeling stuck or just too afraid to make the wrong decision. Um, I do kind of feel like for a lot of you, you're quote unquote lying to yourselves making it seem like you need more in information, but this is you guys biding your time. This is you guys buying time. This is you guys stalling, okay? Um, instead of just acting and responding. Um, for some reason, what I'm getting is that you're making this decision tougher than it is, and it's really not a tough decision, right? Um, what I'm also getting to, for some of you, there could be a pregnancy in place and maybe you're thinking about whether to have it or to not have it 
again, you know, I don't get involved in any of that stuff. It's completely yours. But, um, you know, I, if it's something like that, I totally get it. I, I totally understand. Um, you know, but allow the universe, you know, go within, you know, um, emotionally or religious. Sorry, darlings. I received another call and that knocked me out of, um, my sequence, but basically what I was saying for those of you guys, as an example, who, you know, are trying to make a decision on whether to have a baby or not to have a baby, you know, leave that up to you and your higher God. You know, I absolutely have no input to give in those situations. Um, but to continue on with your reading, the next card up is the strength and then also the healing. Um, this basically says to me that, um, when it comes to say for instance making the decision and again not related to anything related to a pregnancy right but when it comes to making a decision i just kind of feel like when it comes to the analysis and what do i do in the calculation and should i or shouldn't i and whatever you know that that part of it is you're just gonna have to leave it up to your heart and what you feel and what you think you know and what you think is best for you okay i do kind of feel like the forcing of it is, is going to be the most terrible thing that you ever do in your life. So in other words, if you force this this decision, it's going to be the worst thing that, that you ever do and you're going to feel like shit, okay? So um, yeah, and not only that, but the healing part of it will, you know, definitely come into place. So I do kind of feel like make sure that whatever decision this is, whatever deliberate, deliberating that you're doing, make sure you're okay with it and it feels good and it is not traumatic to your soul or your spirit or who you are or the rest of your life, right? Make sure that this is not forced and then you mess yourself up and then you are traumatized and then need like this future healing, okay? And you know, it's, it's crazy because I sat here and I looked at all of these twos and I'm like, wow, I'm like y'all really don't know what to do. But now that I'm actually kind of like going through the reading and going through the energy, I feel for y'all because I'm just like, I understand why y'all don't know what to do. And again, I don't feel like it's a big, heavy, drastic decision. I just feel like it's going to affect you. You know what I mean? Like the repercussions of the decision. Not like you can make a wrong decision. Not like, you know, you make the right decision. Not like you're having to choose between two people. But, the, you know, for some of you, it could actually be that. Having to choose between two people. And it's almost like, you know, in true Capricorn form, right? You are thinking about yourself, right? You are thinking about, okay, if I go with person A, how's that going to make me feel? If I go with person B, how's that going to make me feel? Now, the bullshit is that you feel good, say, for instance, in both cases, but in different ways. So that's why I see three twos sitting up here on this table, because it's almost like it's a hard decision to make because whatever decision that you make, there's going to be satisfaction, there's going to be reward, and then there's going to be, you know, kind of pain and heartache or leaving something behind. And Capricorns, believe it or not, struggle with letting things go and leaving stuff behind. What I'm hearing, that's at the root of your decision because you don't want to let one of them go. Forget between choosing between one or two, right? I'll make her my girlfriend. I'll keep her as a friend, right? You don't want to let go of the potential of this one being your friend, okay? Excuse me, this one being your girlfriend. So if you can make them both your girlfriend, good. I don't have a decision to make. Whatever, I'm good. Everything's okay. But if you had to choose again from one being your girlfriend and one just being a friend, that's what's fucking you up. And I'm sorry. I'm sorry, Capricorn, but it is what it is, right? The world, the completion of a cycle, and Archangel Michael. This is basically saying, boo-boo. The time has come to close this out, okay? I feel like this is something epic, okay? So for those of you, again, who are having to choose between two people, this could be between, you know, your ex-wife and your new love. There's, you know, you and your ex-wife are trying to rekindle and trying to rebuild, but this new love is just fucking awesome and new and fresh and, and not my ex-wife, and that's also exhilarating as well, right? So which one do I choose? you have to close out that cycle, say, for instance, with that ex-wife, okay? I, I just, this card is not what I feel. It's what this card is showing. 
that that long time cycle, that long time karmic situation, whatever lessons she came in to give you, she didn't gave you, she didn't gave you in spades. She gave you some again, like she's been there and she's been around for so freaking long. That is not a situation of love. It's a situation of pure familiarity. Okay. The, that's what the world card is showing. And Archangel Michael, you know, Mark, Archangel Michael is the badass of the archangels, right? He don't play that. He's going to get rid of all negativity and doubt. This is basically saying to you, Capricorn, again, we don't give a shit what you do, but we're going to step in at some point and make the decision for you if you don't make the right decision. And again, you know, they're kind of facing each other and saying, look, boo-boo, sorry, I love you. It's been wonderful and it's been great, but you got to go, okay? And, you know, if you look at her too, I mean, she's already in stride. She's already ready to skip her ass right on out this situation. But again... Capricorn, you are the only person keeping her here, okay? Meditation, and here we go again. The three of wands now, right? Now we have progression, right? First, we have the two of wands. All right, I know what I need to do. I know who I need to choose. I know where I'm headed, right? Now it's like, okay, how do I get there? You know, because, yeah, we're exhausted, right? Um meditation says, leave it up to us. Don't worry about the house. I love that, you know, that saying, whenever you're asking is something of God or the universe, don't worry about the house. Don't never ever worry about how is it going to happen? You know, um, how am I going to know? How is this? How Leave the house up to God and universe, baby. Okay. You just have to face forward and get the, get ready to get ready to get the hell on. Okay. Um, the other thing too, I love this, right? That white bird there. You know, birds are messengers from heaven, right? And white represents purity and love and angels and heaven and stuff like that, light energy. So him looking forward in the direction, at the same direction as where the, no, it's not the same direction as where the seagull is flying, but it's almost like he's looking for the he's looking ahead and he's looking for direction and the seagull is coming coming past him with messages with um navigation to help him to guide him to lead him into the next direction that he needs to go go into what what's also clear here too with the meditation card is that you have to trust in the unknown right you have to trust that the conversations that you have with God or Buddha or Allah or, you know, um, Vishnu or who, whomever it is, you have to trust that they're going to give you the right guidance, right? Not only that, but unfortunately, because you're going to have to let somebody go, you are going to have to make peace that with, with that decision, it's going to bring you peace and harmony and joy and fulfillment, but also too, that it is the right decision to make. It absolutely is the right decision to make, okay? Last cards at the bottom of each deck is the Two of Pentacles, another two, the dividing of assets and money and property and things of that nature. Maybe this is a marriage again uh, that or a separation that's moving to divorce or, you know, a divorce that, you know, marriage moving to divorce or a divorce that's already complete but there we're severing ties once and for all. Okay. And then miracles. Um, I do kind of feel like, especially with the two of pentacles and then also the miracles, you know, it's almost like you guys are looking for something to happen for the person that you are having to let go of. It's almost like you're hoping, wishing, and wanting something miraculous to happen to them to take the quote unquote edge off of this. So you don't feel guilt. So you don't feel bad. So you don't feel like you left them out in the cold. Okay. Um, Capricorn babies, it's not that bad. Not only that, but also at the same time, you never let, you never know how you are stopping them or how you're interfering with them moving on into, onto their destiny, right? They could be uh, stopping you. You could be stopping them. So when you actually let go and you agree to separate and part, okay, the rest of your life can begin. The rest of their lives, lives can begin. And even though you guys have, may have been together out of familiarity, you are old, funky, you know, comfortable shoe. 
Um, there's like, you know, Versace and Prada and Gucci and all kinds of loafers and orthopedic and wonderful shoes waiting for the both of you. Okay. So it really is a matter of you being brave, right? And letting go of, I'm going to say this, letting go of the old and useless, right? I don't mean useless in a negative way. I mean useless as in I got all of my usage out of it. Now I need something else fresh and new and different, right? But not only that, the usage that I got out of it, let me pass it on to somebody else who will find new usage for it, right? Because it's a partnership. It's how I benefit from it, but then it's also how it serves me, right? So now let me move on. Let me allow it to move on to somebody else who will enjoy it and honor it as much as I did for as long as I did. Okay, the three cards for the 2020 new you, new self, new year, new decade. First card, competition, warrior gods, guides, warrior, guides, warrior, okay? Competition to me is um, new traffic, right? Like new love affairs, like now that you've agreed, say for instance, to let this person go, to let this situation go, the universe, you're backed up, okay? So if you are choosing one over the other, like y'all know the best way to get a date is to have a date. So once you actually split this situation off, it's almost like because you were with this person or in this situation for so long, all of the other situations that you were supposed to go through, you know, after this situation, they bunch up, okay? So now the person that you chose has to deal with not, they don't have to necessarily compete with, with this traffic, right? These new people, new lovers, new situations, new distractions, new temptations, right? They don't have to compete with that. But again, the universe is like, look, dude, you took so long. You were supposed to meet this one and this one and this one and this one. You know what I mean? So temptation and also competition will come up it's 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 only competition if you give it your energy right it's only competition if you're interested if you're happy with the choice that you made with this new person then you it's not competition because you're not interested in anybody else anyway the next card is rest and holy spirit this is basically taking some time out, which I believe Capricorn, you do need to do more of this. Just take time out to have conversations with God. You know, I'm not necessarily going to say be thankful, be grateful, you know, and things of that nature. It does actually help, by the way, it helps a lot for you to be grateful. But I kind of feel like, you know, you need to spend more quiet times with God and in spirituality and in restful spirit spirituality. Please don't confuse this with sleep because that's not sleep, okay? That just means let me take a minute and chill out and have a conversation with my God, okay, or my universe. The last card for 2020, new, new year, new you, new decade, celebration, boo-boo, joy gods, joy, joy gods. This is you returning to that, to that wonderful, happy place. It's kind of crazy and weird because Capricorns are very freaking stubborn. Very freaking stubborn. And Capricorns are also very freaking hard-headed. And Capricorns are also, um, um, they're kind of set in their own ways, right? And I'm saying all of those things because it's hard sometimes for you guys to change. So the fact that you do make this decision, the fact that you do progress, right, out of this situation into a new situation, right, um, no, it's not reason to celebrate, but again, the universe is backed up or your energy is backed up because you've been with this person for so long. So I do kind of feel like in addition to, you know, competition and, you know, taking breaks to rest and talk to God that they're going to be, I just kind of feel like some of you guys are about to enjoy or have the best time in your lives. Okay. I'm not necessarily saying this for all of 2020, but if there was a decade or a year that is epic 
and and is to be remembered i feel like for you capricorn that time is 2020 okay so just to recap right universe is backed up we gotta send you you know the bullshit temptation right um because you know you each one of these people each one of these situations need your energy okay and they're gonna be vying for your time it's up to you to just go through them, you know, be responsible, be respectful, right? And then just send them on their way. In all that you're doing, we know it's been a battle. We know it's been hard. We know that you've been going through some stuff. Relax and give God his time or her time, okay? Um, your angels, your guides, relax and give the universe its time. And then the last thing is celebration and joy, guys. Job well done, Capricorn. Relax, let your head down, have a drink or two if that's your thing, right? If not, then don't, right? But relax and let your hair down and just be carefree. Be responsible responsible at all times, Capricorn. But relax, let your hair down and be free. All right, babies, I love you. Thank you so much. I hope you guys have a phenomenal second half of December and an even freaking awesome 2020. We'll be here together, okay? So we're going to take this ride together because I want to I wanna be a part of the epic 2020. I'm just saying, don't leave a sister out. All right, Capricorn, thanks so much, and I'll see you guys later.